Hi, I'm Linda from Cause and Effect Dog Training. Welcome to the first of our series of 12 videos. In this video, we're covering how you go about selecting the puppy that's right for your family and the questions and the vital points you need to consider with that. So when we first decide on a dog, we need to look at our family and what our family requires. If we're a active family who like running and like hiking, then the dog we select needs to have a higher energy requirement. If we're an older person or live a more sedate lifestyle, we need to find a dog who hasn't got such a high energy requirement. So it fits into our lifestyle. So once we've worked that out, the next thing we need to do is look at breeds or combinations in different crosses. We need to do a little bit of research about what those breeds were originally bred for, and that can give us some insight into what we could expect in a dog that we get. So for example, if we look at uh, a Border Collie or a cattle dog, they're obviously a herding dog, they have a high energy requirement, but they also are very, very intelligent. So in their lifestyle living with people, they need to have a job to do, and they need to be mentally stimulated as well as getting that physical activity. It's really, really important for their well-being. So then once we've decided on a breed, then we need to do a little bit more research and have a look to see if there's any problems, genetic hereditary problems that could be happening with our selected breed. Every dog in existence, uh, pedigree breeds do have problems. So by finding out what those problems could be, it gives you a little bit more insight into how living with your dog is going to look. So once we've decided on the breed, then we need to find a breeder. There's a lot of breeders around. You need to find a breeder who is, is likeable, who is approachable, who is knowledgeable, and someone who is quite happy to talk to you about not only the pros of their dogs, but the cons as well. The other thing that we need to look at is asking our breeder how they manage their litter of puppies before that eight week time. A lot of things that um, will influence a puppy happens in that first eight weeks when they're with the breeder. So you can ask your breeder, do they do enrichment activities and what sort of things do they do? Are the puppies exposed to different surfaces? Are they exposed to grass? And just those basic little things make, can make a huge difference in the way your puppy turns out. So once we've done that, then we start looking at litters. Now in a litter, just because they're the same breed doesn't mean you're going to get the same temperament. In a single litter, you can get puppies who are more timid. You can also get puppies who are quite boisterous and everything in between. So that's why it's important to have a good relationship with your breeder. The breeder knows your litter better than anybody. So when you get to know your breeder, they'll get to know your family, your requirements, and can match that puppy to your family's needs. So you get the best possible fit that you can. Okay, so something else you need to consider when you're looking at getting a dog is the expenses concerning that. So is your selected breed a dog who needs regular grooming, for example, so that needs to be factored into your lifestyle and also your budget? You're looking at costs of veterinary care as well. And can you cover accidents if that sort of thing happens as well? So it's those things that you need to be aware of when you're, when you're purchasing a dog. So that's just a bit of insight into how you go about picking a dog and picking a breeder and getting the best puppy for your family.